hello guys and welcome back to my kitchen so today i am cooking okra soup yes i have many ways of cooking okra soup this is one of them yeah and actually this soup came out this morning my husband decided he wants to eat okra soup so i did not plan to cook okra soup today but he just told me that he wanted to eat okra soup so i had to go out shop quickly i couldn't go far yeah so i got what i could so if you want to see how i made it just keep watching <laughs> Okay guys, so here is the veggies we're gonna need for the cooking. So we have some okra, we have some sweet bell pepper, we have some chili, some tomatoes, and some onions. The list of all the ingredients will be in the description box. We also have some fish. I'm gonna use some stock fish and some dry fish as well. So yeah, you can use whatever you like. So here we are gonna get our um veggies ready so i'm just going to explain here something very important to me when i go and buy my okra yes this is very important because i like to choose very very fresh okra so you know sometimes you go to the market and you see that they sell okra but it's been selected already and packaged already i don't like to buy that one because they are the one that chose them and packaged them so i don't like to buy that one sometimes as well they sell frozen ones that have been cut already and all that i don't like that as well unless i'm very very desperate but i usually do not buy that one because they are the one that selected it as well i like the ones that you go there and you select your own okra by yourself yes and you choose them by yourself and put them in your plastic bags yes because i want to select my own okra and the way i choose mine i hold the okra and i use my thumb to press to break the the tip of the okra you know the pointy tip there yeah so i use my thumb and i press on the pointy tip. you see that tip there i use my thumb and press it if it breaks if it snaps like you will hear snap and if it snaps like that that means the okra is fresh yes but if it doesn't snap and it bends yeah and it doesn't snap that means that the okra is drying so it's not as fresh as it's supposed to be you know so when it's like that i don't take it i only take the ones that will snap <laughs> yes i have to hear the snap yeah if not i'm not taking it so if you notice when you go and buy the okra because i know I, I did notice it so that's why i'm saying it i noticed when i go and buy my okra that among them some of them have been uh, uh, um, snapped already not snapped but it looks like somebody just tried to snap it but it didn't snap it bended yeah so they left it there because so i understood that i'm not the only one doing it there are probably other people coming around and doing selecting it the same way i am doing it so if you go next time and see some of them there that the tip is already broken or bended that means that yes <laughs> that's what they do if you've been wondering if you've seen that before and you've been wondering now i'm telling you why you see some of them that have broken tip or bended tip or whatever it is yes so yeah so that was my tip for today at least now you know if you didn't know how to select your fresh okra now you know how to select fresh okra and you can have a way better okra soup <laughs> Okay, so here I'm trying to show you what I'm doing. I'm just cutting the bottom of the okra. Some people use it, but I get rid of it. I don't use it, so that's all I do. I just cut that part off and I keep the rest of the okra. And we're gonna blend it to get, instead of chopping it, you can chop it as well. It's up to you, anyhow you want your okra. You can blend it smooth, you can blend it rough, you can cut it like in pieces with your knife. It's up to you, so here, I'm cleaning all my veggies, getting them ready so we can start the soup. Okay. 
I will start by blending my sweet peppers, tomatoes, onion, and chili. If you want to blend the chili, I do not blend the chili. I just drop my chili in my soup like that because my kids do not eat spicy. But if you eat spicy, at this point, you can add your chili too. So I'm going to blend the tomato, sweet pepper, onion together separately, yeah? Separate from the okra. The okra will be separate and this will be separate, yeah? okay so i'm blending it using the my um my blender but the option is on the chopping yeah so i don't want it to be blended smooth i want it to have some texture to it so this is what it's looking like right now yeah and yeah this is what i was looking for and now this is also what my okra is looking like yeah you can cut it with a knife yeah what we we used to know back home i know that back home i used to cut it with the knife like tiny tiny or big big it depends how you want your okra to be so this is completely like optional right yeah so this is what mine is looking like this is like time saving <laughs> like it is a time saving because i have what i'm looking for here in no time whatsoever yes so we have our okra we have our tomato blend mixed there everything is ready we can start our cooking first of all what i'll do here i get rid of the water uh, of my meat because of the cow food if you cook cow food you know that when you boil it the texture of the stock the water that you get from it is very uh, uh, heavy and thick it has a particular texture that i don't like yeah i don't like the texture it gives to my soup at the end so i like to boil it and get rid of the stock of the water yeah and then put a new water in there like use i don't use the stock of cow food at all i can use the stock the stock of another meat yes other meat i keep the stock and i add it to my soup later on and all that but cow food no because i don't like the texture it gives to my food at all yeah so now what i'm doing i got the i put the meat on another in another bowl and here in my pot i'm adding some uh, palm oil and some sliced onion i'm gonna fry the onions so to my drying to my um frying onions yeah i'm gonna add some dry fish yes so i'm gonna add my stock fish and my uh, barracuda smoked barracuda fillet yes but you can add the fish that you like whatever fish you have you can add it at this point i'm just gonna add it there because it's dry fish so it needs a bit of time as well to soften as well so i'm gonna add it to the oil and the onions and fry the whole thing together and when i finish frying it let's say for two to three minutes yes i'm gonna fry for two to three minutes on medium heat and i'm gonna add my tomato blend yes and we're gonna fry the whole thing together and once that is done after frying for maybe a minute or, or two we're not even frying we're just mixing and we're gonna add some salt and all the seasoning and spice that you want to add to your soup at this point just do it and all we're gonna do we're gonna cover and allow it to cook Make sure you cook it on low to medium heat because you don't want to burn your tomato because at this point we have not added any water yet, yeah? So while the soup is cooking, I'm the type of person, I am a clean as you cook person, yes. So please tell me in the comment section, what type of person are you? Are you a clean as you cook or are you the type of person that will leave everything to build up and when you finish cooking, you come back and wash it? I can't do that. I cannot stand it it confuses me it makes me confused like yes it makes me confused and it annoys me it's like i have pressure around me somehow i don't know i don't know how to explain it but i cannot stand it i have to clean as i am cooking or i'm lost yes i am lost <laughs> i like to see all around me clean and tidy as i am cooking i feel more free so yes that's what i'm doing here while my soup is there we're gonna clean and come back So here we are after 20 minutes or so yes this tomato has been boiling for around 20 minutes yes and now it's time to add our meat to the soup 
so here i'm gonna add my beef and this is beef and what i like to do is to uh, i like to put it under the grill yes to dry it before i put i don't like to put fresh beef like that in my african soup in particular yes in particular so yeah so this is uh this has been under the grill so this is beef and i'm gonna add my uh, cow cow food and my shaki and the smoke chicken as well so everything is going in at this point because they are all cooked to the same level well to my liking so it's up to you if you want to cook one of them more than the other it's up to you but at this point everything is going in because they are all cooked to the same level so they're gonna finish together <laughs> they're gonna finish together so this is what is left it was too much for my soup so i'm gonna put the remaining you see in the bowl at the back there in the plastic bag and keep it in the freezer for next time yes and here what i am doing i'm trying to remove the chili i completely forgot to remove the chili before i pour all the meat in there yeah because you can break the chili and then the soup is going to end up very spicy but yeah so i'm going to add a bit of water mix it nicely at this point make sure all your seasonings are on point your soup is tasting delicious and everything because all these juices are going to cook all the meat together and it's time for all the meat to get filled up with the deliciousness like the, the taste yeah of the soup so make sure it's nicely seasoned and it's ready and we're gonna cover it and allow it to cook for another 20 minutes this time with the meat in there and all that as you can see So here we are 20 minutes later so that was a total of 40 minutes yes so we cooked the tomato soup 20 minutes then we cooked the tomato sauce 20 minutes and then we cooked the tomato sauce with the meat inside for another 20 minutes that's a total of 40 minutes and this is what it's looking like it's ready to receive the okra yes it's ready so now we're gonna add the okra to the soup it's delicious at this point i think we can even eat it like that with rice it's delicious to be honest but we're gonna add the okra in there mix it nicely yeah normally if your seasoning is on point at this point there's nothing you need to add just the okra and that is fine and then the crayfish powder but i'll add that at the end yeah so let's mix it nicely and we're gonna allow it to cook a little bit more yeah okay guys so yes for some reasons i decided to add some molokia to my okra molokia is i think is ewedu in nigerian i think is ayoyo in ghanaian and it's also called jute leaves yes so it's a drawing type of leaves yes and it's delicious i've done that before it's not that i've never done it i've done that before today i wasn't planning to do this type of okra soup but yes somehow i decided to do that and i had it in my freezer so i just took it out and decided to mix it to my okra so if you've never tried it please try it now the names i have given in different languages like in different countries if it's wrong Ghanaians correct me in the comment section please nigerians correct me in the comment section please if it's not a way do let me know if it's not ayoyo let me know please and give the right names i know it's jute leaves as well so now we're gonna add some crayfish powder yeah and it's ready you know once you add the okra you add the leaves and all that or you can even add spinach to it and all that you don't leave it on the fire for too long so i left it i left it on the fire on low heat for not more than five minutes and it was ready yes now it is time to make the apple yes the cassava dough yes so here is how i do mine i buy it in the shop it's already blended and all that so i mix it with water yeah i'll just mix it with the water so that it can be like a smooth consistency and i'm gonna just sieve it 
because there are some you know when you mix it you will see that there are some textures in there is not blended properly there are some like is i don't know how to call it but there are some wood like some fibers or something like that in there and i'm gonna show it to you this is what it's looking like you see there are some weird texture kind of in there some yeah it's coming from the cassava when you cut cassava you can see the fibers i think it's the fibers yeah so that's what i want to remove that's why i'm saving it and this is it so once i've done that i'm going to put it on the fire yes i left it to rest for two to five minutes and you see the water that i poured in it to make the mix will come at the surface and usually is to control the water uh, quantity so at this point the water that i can see there is not too much for me I, it's fine for me but if there's too much water and you don't want it you can just pour out some of the water but keep it on the side you might need it while you're making your apple yes so the softer you want the apple to be the more water you need to add now the stiffer like if you want it to be dense like very heavy reduce the water you put in there but then it's going to be a lot of work as well for your arms yes because this is a workout on its own <laughs> if you've met it before you know that this is a whole workout arm workout definitely so yes let's make the apple this is me working out right there <laughs> And yes, it might look fun, yes, but it's not easy at all. If you've done it before, you know what I'm talking about. It is not easy. At this point, my arms were aching so bad. And yes, food is ready. The soup is ready. The apple is ready. The cassava dough is ready. Yes, and I can't wait to dig in. I'm sure you can tell that this is going to be delicious. Yes, I'm sure you can tell. So here it is. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you watch this point, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so yet. And don't forget to like the video, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so, so, so much. And here I was, yes, ending my video. And once again, my mic was not on. Okay, bye guys.